Hi guys, welcome to Kenganda. My name is Johnny Tamaya and I am your host for today's news. I do hope you are safe and sane wherever you are. Now, all over the world, we are seeing a dark cloud hanging over everyone. That is racism and black people fighting for their rights. Now, in my country, we still experience racism. And on top of everything, we do have some Ugandans who do not let go of their colonial masters. Basically saying that most Ugandans are living in times, but they're still following their colonial masters. Uh, I did come across some articles and they got my attention. One article was from Odrek Ramboga and the other article was from Storytel. Now these articles did cite the racism that is in Kampala. While reading one of the articles, one particular thing caught my attention. We're going to break down how even though Uganda got its independence, it's still living in the footsteps of its colonial masters. Now let's start with number one. Did you know that Kampala was designed by a German man named Ernest? Ernest designed Kampala in a form of a ring. Now he decided that he was going to make Kampala outskirts have local people. Moving from the local people, you move to the Asians. From the Asians, you find the white people littered in central Kampala. Now his recommendation was that in case the local people decided to come and attack the white people, the local people would first attack the Asians before they go to the white people. On top of his fabulous design, Ernest also decided to name the major roads in Kampala and give them British names. We can find the Prince Charles Road, Princess Anne Road, we can find the Archer Road, to mention but a few, to clearly show that the whites had actually put their foot down in Kampala. The other interesting factor is these particular roads are found in places mainly occupied by white people or foreign people. Now the icing on top of everything is even our state house in Nakasero is surrounded by these roads with British names. And I think you're now asking yourself why can't our dear government change these roads? Another factor that shows that Uganda is not fully decolonized is ask yourself, what do they teach these kids in high school? What do you actually study in your high school? You'll find that we did study about few Ugandans, but majority of the syllabus was about white people, how they liberated us, how they found the Nile, how they did this, how they did that. But you will not, you'll find a few Ugandans that they're talking about. Talking about schools, we also have people who will brag that they take their kids to foreign schools. And what do I mean by foreign? Foreign schools are schools owned by foreigners. You know, we have Kampala Quality, we have Chitante, we have Green Hill. To mention but a few, you're going to find a full Ugandan bragging, oh, I take my child to this school. Like, it's now a thing to brag about. Yet you're clearly following your colonial masters because you're not taking your child to a local school, you're not taking your child to a school owned by a Ugandan, but you want to take your child to a school owned by a white person so they can pick on other traits. Even though these kids reach in these rich schools, they also still face racism. They're not mingling with the white kids. They make them cut off their hair. I mean, it makes no point. Why would you take your child to a foreign school, yet they're clearly nice local schools that you can take your children to while we're still on the point of bragging let's talk about parents who also want to brag that they take their kids to a white man's hospital you know or oh, my kid goes to maybe case clinic or oh, my kid maybe goes to novice or whatnot you know like you are not liberated if you want to be so much like the white man if you follow in his footsteps go to his places did you really gain independence let's also talk about the language our mother tongue you know we have so many languages but let's talk about them every time our president goes on tv to give a speech he usually brings in a traditional or a local language proverb 
and every time we hear that we're like oh we roll our eyes and we're not happy with that but what does that say about us we all just want to use english all the time and if one of your friends doesn't use english all the time you want to out them you want to make them an outcast or because they do not want to use the white man's language they want to use the mother tongue well i also know i'm using english at the moment but there's so many people watching this video out there and i need everyone to understand what i'm trying to say now the big elephant in the room is the racism ugandans face in their own country did you know that you could go to a restaurant order the same things you're black the other person is white and the white person get the order first they will, the way they'll take care of that person eh you'll not understand it's like you're asking yourself am i really from this country we also do experience racism in government offices now you can come ali it's not first come first serve it's first white first serve can you imagine being treated like that in your own country to sum all this up can we talk about most ugandans who give their children white names they give their names like drake rihanna Nicki minaj joan they give them names like kim and they're not giving them their local names the tunomgishas the nandiwas the nambaliwas the senfumas the sendiwas you know names that celebrate their cultures you'll ask a parent why did you give your child a local name you know what the parent will tell you no i wanted my child to have a fancy name i don't want them to be bullied i mean can you imagine in conclusion this is such a sad time for everyone all around the world every black person all around the world but we have to look within ourselves we have to look within uganda and ask ourselves why is our history being tucked away why do ugandans not celebrate that culture why do they not celebrate their legends you know their ancestors the people who came before them their future why do they run to the other side why do they run to the white side why are they following in the footsteps of their colonial masters why can't a ugandan get proper independence <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Now, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. It is your one-stop center for everything. Entertainment, real estate, Miss Kavi videos. I mean, why wouldn't you want to subscribe to our channel? While you're doing that, also follow us on our social media. That's Instagram. That's also Facebook. I am Joanita. Till next time.